Hello guys, this is Vaish. So we are going to discuss MCQ number 81 to 90 of UPSC 2018. So 2020 students hope you are daily revising and making use of this time because uh, your prelims is 99% uh, is going to happen on October 4 itself. There will not be any postponement unless any drastic thing happens. So please see to it that you uh, revise all your test series and also previous year papers. Okay, that is why I have increased the uh, video frequency also because I want you to prepare faster and you should have a clear idea so that in prelims exam hall you will definitely clear the exam okay so uh, when you are about to give up remember that remember all those who have said that you are not good enough that uh, you cannot anyway clear this already one year you are trying to you are trying uh, or you reach till mains and then again starting from start there will be many people to demotivate you there will be many people who will be against this okay because uh, this UPSC is something where only the one who is actually into it will understand the value of it or the effort uh, involved in it and uh, overcoming from failure all these things only you will understand the people who see from outside whether it's your family or your friends you may or may not get support okay so when you have such a big dream never give up okay like even we uh, when i started this channel two three years back there was no no one to support okay like we used to get uh, 30 views and 40 views per hour video uh, spectrum videos which now has more than uh, 10 lakh 12 lakh views uh, uh, in total it is there was a time when nobody even cared about that okay so now it is the number one in trending after three years so if you do something very sincerely if you continuously do one day uh, what you wanted will come true okay that is why we even tell you people to come and subscribe to our channel and support us and all because our only support is you okay like whoever were around us have never supported us okay even when we were asked to collaborate with one of the biggest institutions in this country we said no because we had our own ideology and theirs were just for uh, profit and money making okay so we said no to them and then we are doing this thing for free so if you support we will also grow and in turn we will be helping you with all these free content so that you can reach your goal so subscribe and also come and whatsapp me so that i can guide you accordingly okay because if you are a newcomer you have to see the guidance videos first and that i'll be giving to you if you are a veteran student i'll give you the links of test series uh, videos okay so come and whatsapp today's questions we'll discuss like which of the following is are the possible consequences of heavy sand mining in riverbed okay so this is a very easy one if you know very basics of this thing it's also there in i think shankaraya's textbook so uh, when you do uh, heavy sand mining okay like sand is taken away too much like what is the consequence so decreased salinity in the river uh, pollution of groundwater lowering of the water table okay so this one if you see uh, you just had to uh, know one thing okay like when sand mining happens okay it's actually sand is something which hap uh, which act like a sponge or a filter kind of thing okay so uh, this will actually increase the salinity when sand is taken out there will be more infiltration of uh, uh, this uh, saline water into the uh, bed into the water bed okay so that is the thing which you should have ideally known and if you eliminate uh, the statement one alone okay you will directly get the answer as uh, 2 and 3 it is not decreased salinity it is the increased salinity in river which will happen okay so you see details here it's a basic environment question sand mining uh, cause intermixing of saline and fresh water that the, thereby increasing the salinity so if you eliminate you will get the answer it's there in shankar textbook sand will act like a sponge or a filter okay so uh, pollution of groundwater will actually happen because because sand is there uh, the water does not have to uh, have a lot of things. It will filter out a lot of things. Okay. And uh, lowering of the water table also uh, will happen. Okay. When sand is removed. Else uh, there will be more water seepage into it. And it will be uh, allowing the more water. But else the water table will go down. So it is there in textbook. And also if you google these pointers. You will get it in different different websites also. This is one of the article which I saw. Like mined for sand. And then uh, saline water increases into uh, uh, fresh water. So it is actually this is the thing. So that next time at least these pointers you should buy heart. Okay. If you are not interested in studying technicalities. You can at least buy heart this. Because if repeating this topic. UPSC will repeat any of these two statements again. Three statements again. Okay. Next question is also a similar question. One concept you had to know. Uh, with reference to agricultural soils, consider the following statement. A high content of organic matter in soil drastically reduces its water holding capacity. Okay, which if you know like common sense of what is organic matter, what is humus content in soil and all, it will not reduce the water holding capacity, it will increase the water holding capacity. Okay, like organic matter, you know, it will uh, like with bacterial things and all, they will convert into humus and that will actually help in water retention. Okay, increasing the water holding capacity. So here also if you eliminate one, okay. In 2018, even the paper was tough, but there were at least, I think, uh, 10 or 12 questions where like this you could have solved, where one statement you eliminate and directly come to the answer. Okay. So those 10, 12 questions is what saved those students who actually cleared the exam because they uh, found out these kind of questions. Okay. 
and next one if you see soil does not play any role in the sulfur this is actually wrong again okay so one is wrong and two is wrong that is why answer is three and irrigation over a period of time can contribute to the salinization of water of salination of some agricultural land so this again from childhood geography you will be studying that water will be there too much means after evaporation the salt will be left there and it will cause salinization after some time if it is over irrigation that is why you never over irrigate any field okay so that's also a common fact so it was a easy question compared to the other questions in 2018 so again ncrt it is mentioned uh, organic matter improve water retention capacity it will be written humus sometimes in textbooks but it is one and the same okay so if you see also another method elimination method is remove the drastic words like drastically reduce or any role this kind of things if you remove then also you can come to the answer as three only okay and this is my environment lecture which i am doing in that uh, i think chapter number two sedimentary cycle i explained all the cycles in that first word of sulfur itself it's like soil okay soil and sediment so the question was like soil does not play any role so from that also if you studied this you could have eliminated one statement okay please watch uh, environment lectures it is kept on hold as of now but i'll continue after a few weeks and uh, the entire textbooks of uh, shankarayas and uh, uh, whatever other things needed for upsc that will be covered it's not directly from shankarayas but uh, uh, the reference will be mainly from there okay this one is a difficult question because uh, you may not have studied this so a partnership for action on green economic uh, this thing uh, that is page a un mechanism to assist countries uh, transition towards greener and more inclusive economy emerged it so they are asking which summit it came out so this sustainable development summit uh, usually students don't take it much seriously uh, they may study this uh, paris climate summit but uh, nothing else so maybe you can eliminate c because that you know like nothing like that was there but uh, which of the other summit sustainable summit you don't know but it's okay okay so if you go to the about page of this uh, page okay so you can simply buy art Last year, many questions came like this, which are unheard words. So, if this was launched in 2013 in response to the Rio Plus 20, okay, Rio Plus 20, you know, it is uh, 2012 because the original Rio summit happened in 1992, okay, and then after that uh, they had in 2002, then after that 2012. So, three times they had, but the first and third one was both in Rio, so it was called Rio Plus 20, okay. So, uh, you should now simply by heart maybe you are the united nations conference on sustainable development 2012 okay which is the third edition of the earth summit so more details are here you can again see like it brings together five agencies uh, practices to advance the 2030 agenda for sustainable development okay it's, it's all about sustainable development goals only and it's a un procedure and it is uh, outcome of the rio plus 20 summit 3D printing. This one again, the blind guess method you can use. Even uh, mains question will be there in GS3, which I'll discuss uh, today. You have a session, 8:30 session. You have uh, that time. You should please uh, pay attention. One hour will be a very uh, useful video because uh, GS3 is the most difficult paper in your mains. So if you see here, five. Uh, Uh, things are there and all of them are true okay 3d printing if you don't know you have to go and study about it because main question has already come okay preparation of this items by uh, bionic ear automotive industry surgeries data processing technology everything this is a science thing i already told you whenever they give applications of something it will be always true only okay it has never happened like it is a uh, one and two only two and three only it has never happened so this blind guess method if you have never seen uh, this is what i have taught my last year students also and it has helped students okay this oled gps 3d printing everything when application comes every time it was true okay and when it comes numbers like weight of satellite orbit and all every time it has been false and if it's date or year or something 99% it's again false and then the if the statement is very difficult meaning something which you have never heard and they are asking for statements it will be 90% true okay because they don't give complicated things about a unknown topic okay if it's an abcd question you cannot do anything like your last question where page was there but if it's a 1 2 3 thing it will be 99% true only okay and this trick has to be used only when you feel like you have done only 30 questions you have only 60 marks i need lot of marks to get my cut off then do this in the last half an hour do this method you will get lot of questions successfully correct okay and whenever there is a match the following incorrect pair kind of thing the answer will be never all the above or none of the above okay these are all tricks which you will get when you analyze your paper okay i have analyzed for the last 25 years of question paper that's why i'm telling this is always working okay it will never be all the above or none of the above there will be at least one tribe which is matching one festival which is matching something like that so you can eliminate one or two options like that okay and then you can take your guess whichever intuition you have and because one other option maybe you will be knowing already and if you eliminate this also you will come to the answer directly okay so use blind guess techniques nothing else for science and tech don't do any over reading or over studies okay for your prelims for your mains you can study but not for prelims then uh, consider the following exam uh, statements 
it's a very easy easy question because uh, barren island volcano which is an active volcano in india that you should know because it's a basics of geography okay when you study volcanoes in india you have an active volcano in uh, barren island so that is true uh, barren islands lies about 140 km east of uh, this thing okay so number as i told this is actually wrong uh, it's not like uh, east of great nicobar it is east of uh, andaman island not the nicobar i'll show you the map then the last time the barren island volcano erupted was in 1991 okay so this is wrong after that i think in 2000 2005 and all it again erupted and 2017 there was slight volcanic activities and so it's not inactive okay so that is the reason this is false and it's a 2017 current affair and that is why it was asked okay so uh, this is wrong this is wrong and it is an active volcano so answer is one only so if you see uh, it's an active volcano it was in news in 2017 eliminate bcd okay so you can eliminate three here if you know current affair suppose you know nothing about this island but still if you did current affair properly from any good test series you would have got the answer okay and it is 140 km northeast of uh, port blair in the andaman island so this map is very important i will do a map session also in our map video series so if you see the uh, this thing okay the order you should first study like there is north andaman then middle then south then only little andaman will come okay so north middle south is easy order then after that little andaman then you have a 10 degree channel which was also a upsc question like what separates andaman and nicobar and then in the starting of nicobar it is actually uh, car nicobar and then little and then great so here if you see top to bottom it's like north middle south same way here from bottom to top is great and then little and then car okay like kind of a reducing uh, name okay literal names if you take great little and car and here there is uh, this thing and between this little andaman and this main uh, big andaman you have duncan passage which is also asked in upsc okay and the capital city is here port blair so barren islands is here in uh, this thing okay this place separately and uh, then this uh, archipelago and all these things if you want you can remember but you guys have never asked those things and this names if you see this tarasa uh, this names you would have heard because the i think the coast guard ships and all they name it after the islands in andaman okay you would have seen this uh, tarasa ship and all so ships are named based on the names here then there is this indira point which used to be the lowest point of india but after the tsunami i think it is now submerged okay so this kind of basics if you know what is top what is bottom you can eliminate lot of options and you can directly come to the answer okay so it should you should know where it is it's like in the right side of india it's in bay of bengal okay so and and one another question came was like what is closest to nicobar island something came and options they gave sri lanka and uh, indonesia and all answer was indonesia in indonesia that to in, within the islands i think sumatra island or something so they were asking so much detail and now this year also andaman nicobar is in news and every year at least one time this andaman nicobar will be there in your options okay whether it's right or wrong it doesn't matter but it will be mentioned in upsc options at least once okay every question paper every year it is there so it's important for you now uh, why is a plant called uh, uh, prosopis juliflora okay this one was a difficult question because uh, nobody is going to buy hard these names and all but uh, it was a current affair item it's actually an invasive species so it tends to reduce the biodiversity in the area in which it grows okay meaning it will cause the other plants to die out okay so it's an invasive species and that is why it was in news but i don't expect students to buy hard these things okay 2018 news items if you see uh, it is used to kill invasive trees so they were trying to eliminate this thing so in that this name is mentioned so nobody will buy heart this name so it is okay if you skip this question but at least now uh, buy heart it okay because also see to it that this year when you are preparing this kind of words when you see even though it is a scientific name kind of thing you will not skip it you will study it okay here again there are names like this so whatever you see you can uh, buy heart if you want because you can see if they want they can put it but 99% of the uh, smart students will skip only they will not take a chance in these kind of questions okay now most of the world's coral reefs so coral reef question it was uh, kind of easy because every thing was kind of uh, okay only but the still confusion was there because of the options so most of the world's coral reef are in tropical water okay that is true then more than one third of the world's coral reefs are located in the territories of australia indonesia and philippines okay which is also in the tropical region only so that's also true and uh, coral reefs host far more number of animal phyla than those hosted by tropical rainforest so this was the one people had confusion and most of the people uh, did the answers 1 and 2 but the answers actually 1 2 and 3 after the answer key came so it's actually true uh, we also had a question where coral reefs we told coral reef is called the uh, rainforest of the ocean okay so it is actually if you see there is a article also if you read this 
but it's difficult i, I agree that it's difficult but uh, if you want a reference it is mentioned here okay it has a wide variety of animal phyla 32 out of 34 in contrast to only nine in the tropical rainforest so it is actually a, a global known statement so you should know it and it is there in all the tropical areas so the conditions for it is this thing shallow waters less than 50 meter then 30 to 30 that is uh, tropics you know 23 to 23 but uh, 30 to 30 it is available mainly tropics and the temperature ranges this thing so these are the basic conditions and it is called tropical rainforest of the sea so that is why all the three are true so at least now by hearted so that next time when anything comes you should know and other than australia indonesia and philippines also european countries like france and all has lot of corals okay so that is also one update if you want now again this is like that page question if you have never heard you cannot solve it so it's okay if you skip it momentum for change climate neutral now is an initiative launched by okay so here uh, if you see the details about this is a tough one uh, so one article was there in the UNFCC uh, related page so there if you see uh, the answer is this one UNFCC secretariat so this launched the climate neutral now initiative in 2015 so if you see the page was 2013 item this is a 2015 item and they're asking these in 2018 prelims so there is no need to ask these unwantedly unless if it is like too much involved with India or something very global but the UPSC decided to ask it and that is why 2018 exam was tough okay every year it comes every year something like this some initiative will be asked but that will be because it was in news or it is like India ratified it or India joined it but this was very tough okay so as of now just by hearted it is UNFCC okay and that page was related to Rio plus 20 summit just two facts you have to buy heart this is again more details if you want like a three-step process it is like measure the climate footprint reduce the emissions offset what they cannot reduce with UN certified emission reductions so this is a like for a mains or something if you want to write somewhere something you can use or maybe if they ask again like this three-step process what it is or bullet points they give one two three you have to buy hard this okay these are all taken from that website only UNFCC website 89 this is a very easy and direct spectrum question but they did a very cheap thing you can tell UPSC for the first time in ever in the last how many years I don't know they are conducting exam but this is the first time they did one stupidity they played with the first name of a person okay here the answer is actually Richard Wellesley they put Arthur Wellesley okay every student they will study simply like Lord Wellesley only because in spectrum textbook also everywhere it's mentioned Lord Wellesley so if you simply change the first name people cannot catch it okay so it was a very uh, bad thing by UPSC to do the standards were very low uh, in this but these three are together mentioned in spectrum textbook in one chapter together they are mentioned okay 1781 Calcutta Madrasa by Warren Hastings if you see this one that is true and uh, 1791 Sanskrit College by uh, Jonathan Duncan so if you see uh, it's given wrong it's given William Jones so that is wrong and then uh, Fort William College by Wellesley that's what we also taught you okay so obviously we cannot uh, argue with UPSC but uh, they have done like this because everywhere it's Wellesley they don't mention Richard Wellesley anywhere so the answer here is Richard Wellesley and that is why it is wrong and so here answer will be two only okay so every uh, student were thinking like it is uh, the other way around okay so that is why but with options maybe you could have taken a chance but still okay because people were forcing like they everybody studied like William Wellesley William Wellesley that they study and they want three in the answer so they were stuck with these two options okay and many students uh, did C many students did D okay so that is why uh, I don't know why UPC did that but uh, that is how it came and about this William Jones, okay, this personality, this also now you have to study and we have already many, many MCQs about him in our different, different tests we have. So if you see here, this he's actually related to this one. He's a uh, orientalist. So uh, Asiatic uh, researchers, researchers, that is what he's involved with and what he's uh, uh, founded or something. And then here, if you see these personalities, again, another question was there. Okay, Calcutta University, Sanskrit College, Warren Hastings again with this thing. Okay, these are all, they're asking what is incorrectly matched. So here William Jones is not Hindu college, same way William Jones is not Sanskrit college. Okay, he is associated with Asiatic researchers. This is there in my spectrum test. So if you are enrolled to my test series, please go and buy heart it. And here Hindu college, uh, maybe next year they will ask this one, 1870 by uh, David Hare and, and uh, this one, Alexander Duff. Okay, so they are asking all uh, weird, weird people. So please see to it that you study the first name and last name from now. Uh, Okay, and this Arthur Wellesley is also there in your history, but uh, there also you will not study first name. So try to find out what is, uh, are they related or what did they do? Okay, what is the uh, activities which they are involved? This is an easy question if you follow current affair, because uh, you wanted to know only uh, two things. That is, uh, where is uh, Catalonia and where is Crimea? Okay, they have mentioned here like that only region sometimes in the news and it was all the time in news only. So Catalonia is in Spain, that is uh, true. 
and Crimea is not in Hungary. Okay, it's in Ukraine. So that was in news. So this is false. And this is Philippines. That is true. And this is not Nigeria. This is Ethiopia. Okay. So here answer will be one and three. And to see the explanations, uh, you know, I will tell you first the story. This, uh, if you know, like, uh, uh, like take Karnataka state. In Karnataka state, if you see, Bangalore is a place where the maximum number of taxpayers will be there and maximum tax will be given but that doesn't mean that uh, karnataka has to spend all the tax on them itself okay they will be using the uh, money to develop the entire karnataka okay that's how the government works same way in spain the uh, money or uh, tax paying people were mostly in uh, the barcelona region or catalonia region and then they were not happy that they are the ones who is like getting too much money through tourism and all these things and that money is spent on other areas of spain so they wanted to become a separate country okay catalonia okay so that referendum everything was in news and uh, because of that reason uh, it was there since many years it is in news and i think they won the referendum also i'm not sure of the result so that is there okay so that is why catalonia news and crimea is like a place which was actually i think long back gifted by russia to uh, ukraine in map you should know where is ukraine uh, and then uh, later russia again annexed it recently 2014 or something and that is when russia was actually thrown out of uh, g8 countries initially you know there was something called g8 and now it is g7 why because russia is thrown out of it russia was thrown out of this because of this, this reason only it annexed the crimea which was given to them okay given to ukraine so these are two important current affairs uh, and uh, if you know that you could directly solve the answer other two places, uh, if you know, that was in news, uh, 2017, uh, India decided to give some money for fighting uh, terrorism. That is the first time I think India paid a country for fighting terrorism, okay, the Islamic State. So that was in uh, Philippines uh, province, okay, that Mindanao province. And uh, the other place was in news again for usual terrorism, violence and civil war, things happening in Ethiopia. So that was also in news. So they asked direct current affair, you should have known it and this cannot be called as a difficult question. This is one of the easiest questions in last year. Okay, 2020 students, if you want any of the test series, you can come and contact me. All these are available and uh, discounted price till August 31. After that, it is uh, done. Okay, then there is no more enrollment and this batch itself is closed. So, I'll come up with this next video, 91 to 100, so that we can complete the 2018 series. So, till then, enjoy your learning. Thank you and have a nice day.